The Canary Wharf isn't the first place I think to stick a bar full of old-fashioned fairground games in, but yeah, it works really well. And that's exactly what Fair Game did. Hello, I'm Lisa and I run Eat Play London and I like to share with you the best things that London has to offer, whether you're visiting or whether you live here. Now, Fair Game is your unique one-stop shop for entertainment, food and drink. Now, they encourage you to behave like a kid again and find that playful child inside who might have been hiding for a wee while. So we went to Fair Game on what we thought would be a quiet Tuesday afternoon in January. It was not quiet, it was absolutely packed. We hadn't booked. It was fine, they still booked us in really quickly. So Fair Game has combined old-fashioned fairground games with sleek technology. So when you arrive, you'll sign in an iPad and you'll get given a card. So whatever name you call yourself, be aware that's going to flash up on the screen every time you scan your card. So whatever time you book, they are saying that you're going to be playing your game half an hour later to that. That gives you time to go in, register, get some food, get some drink, get your game face on and get ready to play. So games are £15 and you get two rounds of each game simultaneously. So when you go in, you can order food from the street food vendors. They do it in a system where you order whatever food you want and then you're given a buzzer and that buzzer will go off when your food is ready. Currently, uh, there is a taco place called Dos Moz, which is where we ate. It was absolutely delicious. There is Rudy's Pizza and there's also Burger and Beyond that do burgers. I'm a vegan and there was an option in every single place. It was brilliant. And yeah, like I said, our food was absolutely delicious. We did have to wait a while because it was really busy. So they do have a full bar where you can also get cocktails as well. And they also have a candy stand where they sell things like boozy candy floss, um, alcoholic popsicles, all the things you would expect at an old fashioned fairground, but with a more adult twist. So for entrance, a couple of alcoholic drinks and something to eat, you're looking about 40 pounds per person. I think for an afternoon, where everything's ticked, that is pretty good. I've just come back from Vegas, so everything in London now to me is an absolute bargain, which is brilliant. So when it's your time to play, you'll just head on round after the bar and you'll see a table full of pink teddy bears. Check in there. Once you've checked in, you are free to go and do the games in whatever order you'd like. You've got 75 minutes to do each game. You scan your card. It will say your name to know that it's registered you and then there'll be a countdown for the game. Everybody in the row will start at the same time, so you're competing against each other. So if you do wanna play with your friend, you're gonna to need to wait until there's a space free to play with them. You also do need to be pretty assertive because when it's busy, there's a lot of people jostling for those games. Some of the games did have a nice neat cue to them. Otherwise, people were just jumping in. So be warned, be polite, but be assertive. So the kind of games you're expecting to play are things like whack a hamster. Now, I'm a vegan, I hate hurting animals. Turns out, don't have a problem with mechanical ones. I loved whacking that hamster. You do actually get quite a workout, we discovered. We were quite tired after some of the games. And um, yeah, that was an unexpected bonus. I hope I burnt some calories off there. But we mainly just laughed the whole time because it is so fun, it's so playful. They've got water gun games. There's ones where you're just throwing. Watching other people's techniques for these games as well was absolutely brilliant fun. Really nice vibe in the room, really good energy, and just a really fun hour. I think it took us about 45, 50 minutes to play. Every game was great, apart from there was one, the space invasion game, I think it was called, where they've just got spinning circles. It looks awesome. Um, and then you have to try and stop the circle in a particular spot. That wasn't a favourite of mine, didn't really understand and it didn't seem that responsive. But to be honest, anywhere that has grease quotes in the toilets in neon is somewhere I'm going to love before I've even tried any food or drink or played any games anyway. So we had so much fun at Fair Game and we were immediately thinking about the people we would bring the next time we came in. So it's a big thumbs up for Fair Game, so if you've not been yet, book your tickets and check it out. If there's anywhere else in London that you recommend for a really fun afternoon, then please share in the comments so other people can know about it too. And if you liked this video, then please follow for more.